Good morning, you little munchkins, you. Glad you came by old Steve's base camp today. Uh, what do we? What do you want to do today, guys? What do you want to do? Every day you want to stay busy in the bee yard, whether it's making nooks, putting together equipment. You guys, most of you are out of work. You might as well get in the barn and start building some stuff. And let's keep busy. This virus is not going to kick our ass, okay? We're going to keep going. We're going to stay strong. We're going to keep getting our own. And we're going to keep making bees. Lots of bees. Let's load up our minis. Our two frame. They're not minis. They're deep frames going in there. Or medium frames. Whatever we can get. We got that hive there we can jerk apart that one over there i think we got that one we got that one i got a mean ugly girl in the swamp uh we'll see what resources we have i only need one frame each of course we'll drop in a plane whether that be foundation i've got some drawn comb in the barn that i got in bags we can stick those in uh, tomorrow a.m. I gotta be on Matthew's doorstep at uh, 7:30 sharp. Pick up 12 cells. We've got 12 of these two framers, and uh, he wants me to get there 7:30. It's not far. It's only like 20 minutes north of me here. Uh, I want to get some of Matthew's stock. He's doing real well. He's he's got he's building up. I don't know. I think he's got 450 plus going on now. Uh, he's got a queen uh, queen rearing operation. I love that. So he's really putting a good effort into it. He just I guess last season got him a uh, got him a donkey lift so he can uh, get everything palletized and uh, put on his truck that way so that saves a ton of work when you have a donkey lift bobcat with forks and a mast whatever yeah you can save a lot of labor with that thing so anyway i'll get there in the morning we'll get them cells get back here and we'll stall these cells but let's give these bees let's give these put these bees in here and give them 24 hours to think about what's going on here they'll have no queen they're going to be desperate and when I put that cell in there, they should protect it. Now, this evening, got another little cool snap coming. Uh, I don't think it's going to get that bad. I think around 69 degrees or so. We should be in fine shape on that. But that last run of cells I got, uh, we didn't do good on that at all. I don't think I got out of 10 cells. I think they were all, they all toasted due to the weather so we're not going to do that anymore you know it's a learning curve guys i know it's a learning curve uh sometimes it's expensive learning curve but i was only out 40 bucks on that deal so that wasn't too bad anyway y'all uh, next season my game plan will be starting in february in florida here you got to be looking in these boxes in february because i tell you by F february 30 you could be swarming like crazy so something to think about. Get in there early, about mid. I don't know. I may even peek in first of February, depending on our weather. And then every every week, all during that springtime, these uh, these stronger hives. While you're waiting for to where you can buy cells or queens and do these do these little splits. So that's what I'll do. Get in every week play peekaboo in these hives and we see swarming swells their cells are coming out and they're going in these things right here once they come back from their mating flight she's laying they're going in fives okay so the twos just help you stretch your resources so yeah we'll also go in there today and in, in both of these colonies to see how these package girls are doing uh, they've been on full syrup and let's check their progress okay so 
should be a little entertaining deal here hopefully we got enough resources with these few hives we got once these bigger hives say this bigger hive i robbing the majority out and it's down to a little bit of nothing i've got a bunch of fives right there we'll put the we'll put this existing hive depending on what's left we'll put that over into uh put that big box over in our uh, stockpile and we'll put a five framer here and let them blow that five framer up so that's the plan let me get my smoke fired up and we'll get her done I'm not opening this one here guys this hive's really roaring here and I'm not knowing why normally they roar when they don't have a queen I'm not sure what's going on in there. This colony here is very laid back over here. So let's go in here. Let's go in here and see what these girls are up to here. There she is right there, guys. <laughs> She's laying eggs. She's laying them eggs. Good looking queen. Georgia queen, guys. Keep the syrup on them. Carpenter ants getting and trying to get into my sugar syrup. Nice thing is they float. We'll give both these guys another week and see how they're doing. We'll check them weekly. We'll sh check these packages weekly. I've got uh, April 14th now. April 14th, I've got to go in and get two more packages. So uh, I'll pick up two more. Then we'll uh, get those installed in fives. All right, these girls are doing good. Let's open this colony up over here, see what we can rob out of this thing. Got to do me some tree trimming in here, guys. 
Wow, a lot of big old fatty drones. Big old drones. We got eggs. Eggs, young larvae. We can use these mediums too to make up these nooks. But I'd just like to see more. I would like to see more larvae. I mean, a seal brood. Now this, this is a good one here. This is a pretty good one here. They got some filling to do here, but they've got quite a bit of brood here they got a start of an old cell old queen cell nothing in it though let's put this one in Make sure we don't get our queen. Be right back. Okay, guys, we got a uh, got one set up here. Got another one here. So I'm done a medium, and I'm doing a deep frame in here also, and that's completed. That little nook is completed. Put a lid on it. Lit her up, put her on a stand. Let's put one right here. This direction. Let's put this one over here in this direction. Actually, I'm gonna do a blue one, an all blue one over here. Set that one there. Let's put a blue one right there. We might get all of our resources right with this one little, this one hive here. Looking for my queen.
Okay, I'm going to do a tan one. I'm going to set it right here. We'll put in one tan one. These cells that I'm getting uh, tomorrow, which is Wednesday, the queens will be hatching on Friday. They'll be hatching on Friday. Here I've got some extra extra waxed extra wax frames I'm going to take this one over here I'm going to put it in this direction here We'll come back on these. We'll come back on these guys and we will uh, put a date on it. And we'll utilize our little DC gadget tool. Our DC gadget tool to set our dates to, to recheck for Queen for our laying queen yes Is it possible I'm stealing the queen from this hive? It's possible. It can happen. It can happen. But I'm not in the honey production. You guys have to understand I'm not in the honey production. I'm into bee production. So if I steal her, it's not that big a deal. Nice frame here. Good bit of seal brood. There's our queen right there. See her? That's our baby girl right there. She is a good working queen. So let's see. I think what I'm going to do here, we've got all these boxes here. I think what we're going to do, guys. We're going to take her and put her in a five frame. <clears throat> We're going to give her a new house. going to give her a new house. Yeah, that's a nice frame. That's a nice one there, guys. Okay, we've got We've got all that going on. OK, 
tell you what we're going to do. See, now they'll probably on this one here, she's on this one, and it's a medium. We put deeps on both sides. They'll draw that comb on down as they need to. getting a little testicle don't you hate it when bees get testicle all right settle down girl it's just steve-o here it's just old steve-o here nothing to get excited about what do we need guys we need one two two more there let's drop these down There we go, that's a completed box there. If we drop a lid on it, we know we're done, right? All right, we got two more of those to go. They're a little testy, guys, for the simple fact it's, it's, uh, overcast we got a storm coming and they know it probably should have thrown on my ventilated suit but I'll be all right I think if I take too many hits I just back up guys that's all I do. I just back up. These will be plenty of bees to secure this cell. protect the cell. We're going to put these bees guys in a three day lockdown. slide this colony down it's 
this hole open for him. That hole open there, we're gonna slide this down. And add one frame to that. That hive is done. All right, I'll come back with today's date and put queen right. It's already got a QR on it. I'll, I'll put that and I'll put the date there. That way we, we won't lose our place on that. Let's load these all up with frames and get all these girls on autopilot here. Tell you what, this is kind of, well, I think it's, we'll give it a try. I think we'll be all right. Yeah, that's more than enough bees in these here to secure a cell. And like I said, these bees are going to be in a three-day lockdown. After three days, they won't know where home is. going to be testy. A little bit, for a little bit, because, but they're not going to be getting all these boxes. They're going to be testy here, but they're not going to be getting all these boxes. So we've made, with one colony, we've made 13 hives. All we got to do now is put cells in these tomorrow morning. Come back in early in the morning. Pop just a little smoke, raise it up, shove a cell in, and done. All right. Not bad, didn't take long. These bees here. Take these bees right here. Knock them out. Put your equipment over here in the staging lane for the next run. This is kind of my catch-all area over here. I had bees on this thing years ago. This, this here, the stand here hasn't seen bees in quite a few years since I put in all these pipe stands. Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's knock these bees out of here. We've disrupted their world a little bit, but no big deal. They'll figure it out. They will figure it out, guys. All these bee smells in here, all these boxes in here, guys. Freaking swarm traps, every one of them. Haven't caught a swarm in years, though. Usually fly off on me. Yeah. All right, that's it, guys. Yeah, they're a little testy. They'd be a little testy. 
the smoke around me. Get airborne. Get airborne and go home. Right there is where you need to be. All right, guys. That's it for today. Uh, come back tomorrow. You guys need to be following me around now. I'm telling you. Follow me around so you can see what's going on. And, uh, hopefully you guys in the far north are getting ready to do some bee, bee work. Things should be thawing out for you. And uh, be safe out there. Don't let that virus get you now. And if it tries to sneak up on you, use my tricks, my old Stevo Indian tricks, with the uh, echinacea tincture, elder tincture, yes, and all of the good stuff nature has to provide for us. I'll see you guys on tomorrow. I'll see you. We'll get these cells in. Be happy. See ya. Okay, guys. Um, I got the DC gadget. The DC gadget. Magic wheel. Alright. Now you can use this for making a walkaway split. You can do it for grafting. He's got grafting on here, the day you graft, the day it's capped, incubation, the day you put it in the nuke, and the day she should be laying. <laughs> right? So, tomorrow I'm putting... Tomorrow I'm picking them up. Friday is the day, tomorrow I'm picking them up, so tomorrow is what day? Tomorrow is uh, going to be Wednesday the 1st. Wednesday the 1st, so that's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I've rotated around, the 3rd is Friday, you see that little star, it says put in the nuke, that's a ripe cell, those are going to be ripe cells we're putting in, on the 3rd is the Friday, they're going to hatch. So I got my star on Friday. So you come around here, and on the 12th, she should be laying eggs. If she's not and everything looks hunky-dory, wait another five, come back and recheck. But we'll, we'll, we will check these two framers on the day it says laying, and that'll be 12. So... Let's put on here, put on here, check, 412, 12. Check 412, I gotta come back here and put on feeder jars.
this little wheel is a nice <laughs> little investment. Yeah, you can do a calendar if you want to. But why? Buy one of these little tools. And make it easy. This is a little laid back colony here and they've been drinking a lot of syrup. I think we've got a nice laying queen in here. I need to pick, take a peek in here. Maybe we'll do that tomorrow. See you in the AM. Bye-bye.